Good morning, Star Wars fans. It is Sunday morning, and I am getting ready to head out the door to do my virtual half marathon. Is that what Chewie says? working mechanically I feel good but I gotta tell you something I gotta let you in on a little secret here I purchased this outfit from Iglo running and they are magnificent and they are true to size but I bought this outfit about a year ago because I wanted to do the Star Wars races and earlier this year my company put on a whoops I gotta go put on a weight loss challenge or a wellness challenge and I entered and I lost 15 pounds and so oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm losing my pants <laughs> and now nothing fits <laughs> oh my gosh oh my pants are falling this is gonna be the longest half marathon ever <laughs> in my neighborhood and everyone outside of my neighborhood. We're gonna give this two more miles and if I can't seem to keep my britches pulled up, <laughs> ah, we're gonna stop at home and do a, do a costume change. <laughs> Cause, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. my pants I love this outfit I hope I'm able to sew it to make it work better but I am literally running with my pants hanging down my knees I don't know how those teenage boys do that they have big belts I need a big belt we are approaching mile four and I'm losing my good attitude with the uh, slipping of my pants here. So this just goes to show how you should always do a test run in your costumes. Had this been a non-virtual race and I was in Disney World, there would be no way for me to stop anywhere and do a costume change. So I think I'm gonna head home I've got about another half a mile to go till I'm home. And I have lots of sparkle skirts, so I'm gonna pick out a pink one. Hopefully it'll match a little bit. And uh, continue this race. 
because this has gone from funny to super annoying. Do a little costume change. Woohoo! What a difference a well fitting costume makes. I feel good now. I've got, let's see, four and a half miles into this Star Wars virtual half marathon. And I'm feeling much better now. I'm not being aggravated by my skirt falling down by my knees. So let's get this race going! We are at the halfway point. I need some goo. Mango orange. Oh. That actually doesn't taste bad. I'm doing a honey stinger organic energy gel. My timer just went off and my watch did said my halfway point is one hour and three minutes. So that's nine minute something mile per pace. I don't know. I was yammering on when it was going in my ear, so I can't tell you for sure. Mm. Okay, so half of this race is complete. I can't believe how fast it's going. This is like a regular Disney race. It goes so fast because it's so fun. But we're going to step it up a little bit. We're going to play a little I spy with my little eyes. And we're going to look for the Star Wars characters. In fact, do you hear that? Is that my heavy breathing? Or do I hear some heavy breathing? Uh-oh. Who's that behind me? Uh-oh. Is that Darth Vader? Oh my gosh. Um, I gotta go. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe that car will stop Darth Vader. I think that car is gonna block him. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was frightening. I bet he is upset because I'm dressed like Princess Darth Vader. Let's see who else we can spy with our little eyes. What do you see over there? Hmm. I think I see with my little eyes. Are those stormtroopers? Oh gosh. I bet Darth Vader called them. Let's get out of here.
is your favorite Star Wars movie? I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but I like them. I like the originals, first, second, and third, with Luke and Leia, Hans, and Arr, Chewie. I think Chewie's got to be one of my favorites. Hey, what's that? That looks like some kind of walker, but not Luke. It's a walker. So, eight miles in, feeling good. Tell me in the comments below, what's your favorite Star Wars character? But I do like droids, I like R2-D2, and I like that cute little BB-8. Alright, I'm up this hill, let's get going. I am well into mile 11 and the wind is starting to pick up and forcing me slowing down. I'm getting a little tired so I have to channel my inner Yoda. What does Yoda say? Do or do not. There is no try. Yeah, that's it. That's what he says. I need to not fail. I will try. I will try to get up that hill that I see in front of me. We've got about a mile and a half to go, folks, and this virtual Star Wars half marathon will be complete. And we're gonna take a look at that medal. There we are, mile 12. We've got 1.1 to go. So, how many of you have neighbors that are just a little odd? They dress up in funny costumes and run around the neighborhood all morning long. Oh, wait a minute. I think that's me. Let's get this last mile done. R2, R2, what mile are we on? All right, mile 13, point one to go. Let's wrap this Star Wars virtual half marathon up. Let's go. Oh, I beat the balloon ladies. Okay, there were no balloon ladies. Everybody, the Star Wars virtual half marathon medal. And looky, looky, I think I'm one of the lucky or unlucky ones. I don't know what you'd call it. That did not get a red dot. I'm going to say that's okay. That makes me unique and unique to you too, I guess. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> so that wraps up the half marathon. I hope everyone enjoyed this funky little run that we did and all the fun things that I did on this 13.1 miles. This is the last of the Disney races that I will be doing, um, at least race recap wise, until Disney's Wine and Dine in October. Woo, I'm so excited. But I also want to tell you about a series of training videos that I'm going to begin in a couple of short months. July 1st, I will be doing the Dopey Challenge training. It is 28 weeks of fun-filled running with Rosie. And I'm going to give you hints and tips and ideas to stay motivated, to stay trained, to stay happy, 
and stay dopey. So join me for that starting July 1st. But in the meantime, let's enjoy our medal.